all new 2018. Don't juggle with your data plan. Working himself up into a demonic frenzy. My Hanukkah candles. Sal <laughs> That's one way to get. Mm, it's cranberry night. What's on the menu? Cranberry juice. Flute is ready. It's time to tackle your first song. We'll give it a try together. Oh no, this one is way too hard. Trillion. I want to tell you something. We've been getting a lot of calls recently from our viewers asking about the things that they really need. And our own Apollonia Morehouse has delivered. Apple teeny. I asked you not to call me Apple teeny. <laughs> You're lucky I don't tell them the story about your nickname. Can I get more sound? You know, maybe I will tell them what your nickname is. It's Come Hound. Joke. Ask your doctor if my asshole is right for you. Hey, bro, you want to work out? Yeah, so do I. Yeah, I fucked the dog. There's a lot of negative energy here. There's just something off about this place. There's just weird stuff going on. I had a full beer and I have no idea where it is. It's a candle. It's a, it's a cup. What the fuck is going on? Look at this. What the fuck is that noise? Holy shit. Oh, shit. The total is 666. Does anyone speak Italian by any chance? Very scary. Tuesdays. At on a business trip to Denver try to find their favorite late night food spot from a previous trip five years earlier. But is it still around? And did it ever actually exist at all? I'm Krishna Andavolu, and this is Unsolved Weed Mysteries. Mitch and Terry weren't just cubicle mates at their small accounting firm in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. They were late night tokers with a predilection for online gaming and offline bong rips. So when their company sent them on a work trip to Denver, Colorado, all bets were off. <clears throat> After a full day of sorting spreadsheets, Mitch and Terry sparked a pre-roll of Blueberry Death Star and set out to find their favorite late night food spot from a previous trip five years earlier. And that's when things took a turn for the worse. So we walk around for like hours, but couldn't find it. Terry really didn't remember uh, from our, our last trip, found this uh, burrito spot and had this amazing queso. Oh shit, queso? Yeah, that sounds so good. A dope burrito spot, or merely the wishful musings of a couple stoned CPAs. We may never find out, but what we do know for certain is that Mitch and Terry were fired. I actually go through a little routine every morning, pretending that somebody is in my house. So I just do a lot of like- Support, <laughs> yeah. Steady. Don't let out a breath with muscle. it. <laughs> Who's there? Who the hell is there? I swear to fucking God. <laughs> nope. People should eat more fruit. I love fruit. Have you ever peeled a tangerine? It's like winning an easy game. Try it. You know why dogs lick their balls? Look! What's your password? 
I'm gonna try to pull up some videos. Such favorites as flipping through an issue of Puberty Magazine, whispering the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Breathe. Breathe. Tonight on 5050, we have another person coming in at the chance of a lifetime for one million dollars. All on the line, one lucky moment. I'm Bill Hart. We'll be right back with tonight's contestant. Take a look at uh, Alaska over here, over there. I don't know where Alaska is. Ho! Oh! No, I have it. Let's take it again from the top. I, I said I have it, okay? Now, this kind of card you can use for any occasion, not for one particular occasion. Which is kind of hard to find these days. And get inside, a there is a letter. Right, so this is a stock that you could write a letter on. You can write, you know, you could even print a formal invoice on if you're feeling fancy. New Dentafile sugar-free toothpaste. It cleans deep so you don't have okay. to. You'll be ready to tackle the day with a newfound, All fresh, right. clean feeling. Unlike ordinary toothpaste, okay. Dentafile sugar-free toothpaste cleans three times deeper and leaves your no, mouth feeling two you times was. cleaner. <laughs> no. You can brush Read the letter. Get your hand Read off Read the my letter. Head, bitch. What does it say? Get your hand what off does it say? Head, what does the letter say? Comes to fresh breath and clean teeth. How could you do that to me? Tax. Weather. News. Sports. Money. So we just stood there. They don't talk like cops. You know what you gotta do? Throw your kid in the fucking river. They don't act like cops. You're a cop! <laughs> You're a cop! <laughs> because they aren't cops. But they did just accidentally kill a guy. <sighs> Find out how on Thursday. Oh my god. <clears throat> Burglary, grand theft, auto, or any of these crimes? Then you're entitled to legal compensation from me, Dick Fitzsimmons. I did those things. Over the weekend of April 19th, so I went on a weekend-filled crime spree that I can't remember. But you might. Dressing up like a cat and stealing your garbage? Me. Taping over the birth of your child? Me. Filling in crossword puzzles with tomorrow's answers? Me. Convincing school children World War I has not ended. <laughs> Come on, me. Broadcasting baseball games without the express written consent of Major League Baseball. Filling the Gatorade bottles with my urine? Riverboat fraud. Kissing your baby? Espionage. Nasty dunk. Bar mitzvah. Yeah, me. Flavor. <laughs> Mom, me. Sudoku. <laughs> I still think about Carla from time to time, but I still haven't brought myself to throw out all of her fingernails. Welcome again to America's favorite game show. I'm Bill Hart, this is 5050. Dale, high stakes here. America's watching. One million dollars on the line. Before the break, we talked to America about the multiple problems you've been facing. Failed mortgages, gambling debt, multiple cosmetic surgeries, two alimonies. Your wife Maggie is actually in the audience. Maggie, wave. How you doing? Wow, she does not look happy to be here. You know what would make her happy to be here, Dale? If she saw you walk away with $1 million. Are you ready to take a shot at plugging this USB into this computer for one million dollars. I know it sounds like you've been a loser all your life, but this is your chance to make it work. It's all on you if you blow this. He's going, he's going for it. All right, Dale, the moment of truth. He's putting it in. 
No. Oh, the wrong way. Oh, Dale. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the way it goes. The name of the show, 50 Me. Chance. Oh. Oh. No. Damn it. I think I'm going to be sick. I'm going to fucking kill you. Well, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles here on 50 I'm going to didn't I'm get going a chance to kill you. that USB and right you know. Don't change the channel. Don't change the channel. Uh, things falling so much. That's perfect. Exposure. All right, and just exactly what you're doing. We'll count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 23. 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130. Sip an ice cold glass of refreshing Empire Light. You're not just tasting a man's beer. You're tasting a man's piss. Hey there, my name's Jim. These are my dolls, and I am selling these dolls. And I'm telling you, these are collectibles. These are rare items. They're gonna sell fast. I know they're gonna sell fast, so don't hesitate. Call the number on the screen. And it's Good Magical Morning with Chris and Gorbana. And here are your hosts, Chris and Gorbana. Oh my god! Good morning! <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> And all our viewers at home, huh? All of them. Yeah. Get them all, okay? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you again. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> You good? Yep. You okay? No! I love this man. Ah! I'm Chris, I'm 14, and I'm a bad boy. I got cool hair. Cool hair, 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 cool Tired of this happening to you? <laughs> Looks like you need better tires. Call today. A young woman attends a dinner party hosted by an old friend. Feeling lost amongst the conviviality of strangers, she begins to question if she's actually alone in the universe. But is she? And are we all? I'm Krishna on the vote, and this is Unsolved Weed Mysteries. As Ray watched her fellow dinner party guests partake of overcooked salmon and a funky orange wine from, I want to say, Romania, questions raced through her head. What does it all mean? Are people innately good or are they evil? Can everyone tell that I'm being quiet and weird? Should I say something or would it be too obvious that I'm trying to convince them I'm not super hot? Well, this guy, he used to have a public access show called My Fantastic Flute, where he would teach people how to play the flute. Oh, that's so fun. What a public service. Yeah, it's still going. Uh, so he was so bad at the flute, the show was a colossal failure. Oh. And then suddenly, one day, he just vanishes. <gasps> then we find him working the front desk at a bird sanctuary oh. upstate. Mystery solved. <laughs> but guess where he is today? He is not. He's here. Oh my he goodness, he's, he's here. here. Ah! <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, there he is in the flesh. Hi, welcome to Good Magical Morning. Welcome. Uh, 
Hey, cool daddy -os. Hey, cool daddy. <laughs> Don't. Uh, so, Lyle, tell us where you've been. Oh, um, well, I've been at the upper Dutchess County Bird Rehabilitation Facility. Wow. <laughs> While we have you here, I've always... What does the, the phrase, eat crow, mean? Yes. What's it mean? My dad always had the saying, if I'm gonna eat crow, it better be hot. Oh, because hot crow oh, is better. You know, I have to say, I'm surprised to hear you were raised with a father. You just give the vibe of someone that was maybe raised not by two parents. Oh, that's ludicrous to even... Oh. Speaking of ludicrous, I would love to hear Move Bitch on the flute. Driving my truck, doing my thing. Average dairy cow weighs about 1,200 pounds. Doing this little ad again, because no one has called yet about the dolls, so uh, there must be some mix-up with maybe the cable wheels not uh, playing the ad or something. 1.5. Day two. We'll be back right after the break. Has this ever happened to you? Or this, or this, or this, then you're a fucking moron. Now oh, fuck. Welcome back to Words with Ike. Now, to my surprise, the hate mail has not stopped coming in from our alternate definition of the word nerd. And so, I'd like to use this installment to issue an apology. Today's word is sorry. The definition, a feeling of sadness, regret, and grief. For example, I'm sorry, nerd. Whoa. Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> I just think it's crazy that you were talking about how I can't throw and then I pegged you in the face. Yeah, from so. two feet, was that hard? Was that hard? Because you know, I, I know toddlers who could do that also. You don't know any toddlers. You can't that. even have children. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Six hot dogs on Main Street. Don't eat just any hot dog. Eat a dick. Look at it. <laughs> I friggin' love this city. Ooh, I'll play this game. I don't know, what are you? Did you still get your period? Why do you think your marriage failed? My name is Josh. I'm from Florida. <gasps> and I like to skateboard. Nice. <laughs> Shit, how long time? Long enough. Wait. New recipe completely reinvents the pizza itself. Introducing the all-new, all-crust pizza. No sauce, no cheese, all-crust. Hey, it's me, motherfuckers. Since nobody called the number, nobody deserves the friggin' dolls, so I'm not selling them anymore. Do not call the number at the bottom of the screen. I'm friggin' pissed off. This is very hot. How do you... Welcome to Los Angeles. The palm trees here look like little aliens. And the sun is getting really bright. And the sun is burning my, and the sun is burning my, the palm, the palm trees, the sun, beach, and everything you can ever. Welcome to Los Angeles. 
And this is the fun part, mm. you know? You just get out here and it's super creative. You just do whatever you want, wow. you know? Just, it's all about expression. Well, now I always thought piping required some skill, but. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Really? Uh, yeah. Do you mind? Do it. If I to take a pipe, crack at it? Pipe that bad boy. Okay. There it is. Oh, look at her. Wow, she's finally doing something. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Wow. wow. Look at that. Oh, and look at that. Wow, it's like soft it, yeah. serve. Yeah, wow. anyone could do it. Do you want to try? That's fun. Do you oh, want to give it a go? I would love to try. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. leave wow, it to Wow, that's guy. fun. Yeah. That's fun. That's too much. That's, that's uh, what we call extra icing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, let's be a little bit more respectful of the tools. Well, <laughs> now, what kind of uh, items would you recommend cooking for your your partner that maybe isn't totally romantic, but like they slap you in the face with their dick every day? Like, like a fuck buddy, um, like a tart, you know, a like tart. a like a nice something tart, light. something light, mm -hmm. something easy, um, something says that like you know what I care what you think, but also... Not really. Not really, you know? <laughs> My wife and I are very happily married. Oh, so. you have a wife! Yeah, of course yeah, I that's do. What, wow. That's what everyone says. Wow. You know? yeah. that's... Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, they're just uh, surprised that I am a one-woman kind of guy. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, those yeah. highlights say yeah. one woman. One woman. <laughs> <laughs> right, what highlights? One woman, this not 10,000 men. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's a natural blonde. Yeah. You have got to be shitting me. Don't go anywhere. TV. How can I stop watching TV? Well, you just have to stop. Just turn off the TV. Okay. It looks like a bowel movement. What an interesting technique. It's like a drip castle at the beach. 